Hey, welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners, and you're in the Command Center once again. So, on today's video, we're going to cover a couple of different topics that I haven't touched on yet. And on those topics, um, this is to bring you more information. This way, if you had to survive in a survival situation outside of your home or in the woods, or if you're an avid camper, hiker, or any of those things above, Maybe you'll have some more information on how to survive, what to look for, and to make your life a lot easier. So let's get going on that. I had to put my glasses on so I can see. First thing is, I would suggest that everybody, I have talked about this before, is get yourself a journal and keep track of things, um, write down important information, uh, this way here that you can carry this with you at all times in your backpack uh, rather you're on a hiking trip, camping trip, or survival situation, or anything else, you have all that information right at your fingertips. So having a, um, a notebook, notepad, journal, anything like that that you can write this stuff in would be a great asset to any gear that you do have. Now, <clears throat> first things first, I just want to make sure that everybody understands I'm not endorsed by any of these companies that I'm going to talk about, or people I should say. Um, these are just some things that I have found um, and that are full of lots of great information and I would suggest that everybody out there um, purchase and read and study and uh, take notes on, maybe in your journal or whatever else, on a lot of different topics. And the first one we're going to start with is Dave Canterbury. Now he has a book out, it's called Bushcraft 101. Now <clears throat> this is a 256-page uh, book and he covers just about anything and everything uh, from making say like bow drills, shelters, um, the, the whole nine yards. Um, the tools and stuff that you may want to have uh, why you may want to have them. He gives uh, descriptions. Um, he gives descriptions on your packs, what you may want to have in your packs um, for different types of you know situations, um, your rope and your cordage, uh, your containers for cooking and everything else. Um, uh, like I said, starting fires, uh, building lean-tos and navigation, uh, trapping, uh, the whole nine yards. This is just an outstanding book and I would suggest for everybody out there if you are interested, you are just getting started, you could even be a um, avid hiker, camper, uh, bushcrafter, uh, survivalist, whatever else, I guarantee you that you will find something in this book that will make your life a lot easier and probably save you time and sometimes when you're in the woods time is of the essence so I would highly suggest that everybody check this book out like I said it's Bushcraft 101 you can get it right on Amazon um, they have copies available right now I believe you can also do an audio um, if you want to just listen to the book uh, but I like to have the real thing in front of me um, and this way here it this is a small book and I could take it with me if I chose to or I can take out sections on things that possibly you don't know and maybe write down some of the instructions and how to's in your journal to bring with you in the woods the next book <clears throat> is by Katie Lyle and uh, she spent her whole life uh, dedicated to um, edibles from out in the woods and this book is called The Complete Guide to Edible Wild Plants, Mushrooms, Fruits and Nuts Finding, Identifying and Cooking. Now again this is another great book um, it's 223 pages long um, she covers everything um, 
<clears throat> from the, from anything green out in the woods uh, mushrooms which are a big thing if you don't know what kind of mushroom it is if you're in the woods don't even touch it just leave it alone if you don't know your mushrooms you just don't want to touch it because it could turn out to be a very bad trip uh, fruits and flowers and herbs she gives you all types of recipes uh, foraging um, the time of year when certain things uh, we, will be out because uh, there are some things that do uh, grow in the winter that you can find and then there are some things that are a spring summer fall type deal but this is a very good book on edibles and once again I'm not being endorsed by neither one of these people um, I just these two books I bought and they are full of lots and lots of great information for people that are out and about in the woods or want to learn more about edibles from the wild not something that you buy at the store because we all know what that stuff is this is stuff when you're hiking if you're in a survival situation um, whatever the case may be you have um, something to go by and there are a lot of things out there that have a lot of different purposes uh, besides uh, being able to eat there's things that can uh, treat uh, wounds can treat um, headaches can treat all different types of situations that you may run into if you have those in your local areas or wherever it is that you may be camping hiking bushcrafting um, you can try to find those things and they may help you out in a emergency type situation now those are two really good books both of those books you can get right off of Amazon um, I would highly suggest that everybody check those books out and um, like I said the biggest thing is is maybe maybe you know quite a bit about it but maybe you could also take and write down some information on things that you don't know and put those into your journal so that you have them and um, you know maybe go online and you could uh, print off a picture of it a small picture and tape it into your journal if it's something that you know you want to make sure you know what you're looking at now there's one other thing that you can go out and get and you can get these in your uh, local grocery stores uh, Walmart all these different types of places you can even um, if you want you can uh, send in and get a monthly subscription and um, it's called the prepper and now this is a magazine this isn't a book this is a magazine that you just pick up in the store you probably get it at your local bookstore too and all that and every you know every month or so they have a, a, a new issue comes out and they do have quite a bit of good information in here the good thing about this is um, it always shows you like um, <clears throat> all the new products that are coming out and like right here I'll give you an example they're talking about water flitration you know and they show you you know the life straw you know all these different products that are out there um, so that you can you know defect your water and clean it and uh, you're good to go and there's just tons of articles uh, it's a great magazine um, it is a little on the expensive side if you're buying it at the store they're 10 bucks for the magazine so you know that's just another tool that you could put into your little toolkit and to get yourself more information on some of the surrounding things and things that are going on and in that particular uh, magazine they also show you a lot of the new products that are coming out uh, those people that you know you you like you know checking out the new products you like trying everything out and all those type of things um, that may be a good magazine for you because you usually get to see those and they talk about them before they actually hit the shelves in the stores so you can kind of get a little bit of information on those so this was just a quick video just to talk about a couple of the books that I think that everybody should have in their arsenal uh, and maybe a magazine and once again my name is Charles and if you would like check out some of my playlists um, I put a couple of good playlists out there uh, one's called best of the best and the other one is hurricane season 2020 so if you need information check them out survival preparedness for beginners and until next time
catch you on the flip side.